First Sam, <clears throat> First Samuel two seventeen. Wherefore the sin of young men was very great before the Lord, and for men adorned the offering of the Lord. Abhorred. You know, when sin is your life, main focus in our life. God doesn't recognize what we give up as praise to Him and what we offer to Him because He wants us to deal with that sin and repent from it and then offer things to Him. Exodus 15, 14, and 15. The nations heard what was happening, what, what happened, and they trembled. The fear fear has gripped the people of the Philistine. Philistine. So Philistine uh, was part of the Canaanites. It was closer to this area. The Philistines were the one group that came to Canaan and weren't from there. Other than the Edomites were probably still there. There's a few groups that came as a result of Abraham's journey there. The Alchemites and the Moabites and the Edomites. And the Philistines was another group. This group wasn't descended from Abraham. The other three, in a way, were related to him. Moabites and Ammonites were of his nephews. Ammonites and Moabites and then the Edomites were descendants of Esau. The Philistines was another group that, like Abraham, came into that land. And the rest of them were just known as Canaanites. Anyway, because of what the Lord did, the fear was put on these people. This fear was still somewhat around. It, it would have been went away some, but this fear was still around in 40 years later when they came into the land. The only thing that kept Jericho from trembling was their wall. You know, when the Lord's with us, it's kind of reactionary to other people. It may be bad, because these Philistines weren't turning to the Lord. But there was a reaction. But sometimes reactions going to be a positive. We see how God uses people to bring them closer to Him. Philistia, the Philistines should have had a fear for God and submitted to Him rather than just fearing the people because of the God they serve. The God that was with them. And that's the way they viewed it. God was with them. But the Philistines just saw it as their God. The Israelites' God. And that's why they never came to faith. Because they had that attitude. It's just another one of them gods. Their God's powerful. Verse 15. The leaders of Edom are appalled. The mighty men of Moab tremble. All the people of Canaan melt with fear. So Edom, the descendants of Esau, Moab, this is probably reference to Moab and Ammonites. Both. This is using Moab. And they both were probably troubling and fear. So Moab was a descendant of Lot. Canaan is everybody else. So it covers everybody in this area. Edom was Israel's brother. <sighs> Appalled. Everybody else had fear. Edom was a descendant of Abraham. So, if the Edom would have turned to God, Abraham, uh, God would have had a place for Edom. Now, that place wouldn't have been Israel's place, but he would have left them a place. But he had to count their rebellion. We see in Scripture how 
God has them go after Canaanites first. That's because they were living in their rebellion much longer. And then he tells them not to have any contact with Moabites and Ammonites because of their rebellion. But they're to take the land. And God allows the Edomites to move out further and further away so they have time to turn back to him, even though he knows they're not. They were appalled. They know of God. It's like they're offended by him. Appalled. They're offended by God. They don't submit to him. They're descended from Abraham. They're descended from Isaac, just like Israel is. Both followed the Lord. The Edomites don't. We may be better, people may be better off because of who their family is with the Lord, but they'll have to answer for themselves. And not say, well, my dad, my granddad. No, you answer for yourself. While Edom perhaps had more mercy because of this, they weren't seeking God's grace. 